Hatching eggs can be very stressful and also it can be easy depending on how you approach it. I went through a lot of the comment sections on our previous videos and one of the uh, common issues that was raised is related with egg hatchability. In today's video, I am going to discuss two issues that if you pay close attention to, you will be able to increase hatchability during egg incubation. I am going to discuss one selection of hatching eggs and two how to store the eggs before incubation it takes a lot of time energy and money to make this content for you guys so i'll be very glad if you hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed in this for this channel and also make sure that you also hit that like like button so because this is very good uh, for our channel the first thing that you should know and which uh, should be quite obvious is that the qualities of an egg and how you store it are the major determiners if your eggs will hatch or not. However, after incubating the eggs, another determiner kicks in and that is how you are going to manage your incubator, that is for the artificial incubation, all the behaviors of your broody hen that is sitting on eggs that is for the natural incubation. But that's a topic for another day. Here are the five tips to follow when selecting eggs for incubation and hatching. Number one is that the eggs to be incubated for hatching should be from breeders that are number one, they should be mature and healthy. Number two, the breeder hens should be well compatible with the cocks at the time of laying and should produce a high percentage of fertile eggs. This can be achieved by ensuring that the required hen to cock ratio is achieved. One cock should serve 7 to 10 hens. Or number 3 is that the breeder hens and cocks should not be stressed much during the mating season to ensure production of high quality eggs. Number 4, the eggs for incubation should be from well fed breeder hens and cocks. Number 5 is that the eggs to be used for incubation should not come from closely related hens and cocks for example brothers sisters fathers or mothers because this will bring something that we call homozygosity which is a is a genetic concept that will lead to production of weaker hens or weaker chicks number two the second a thing that you should consider when selecting eggs for incubation is that you should avoid excessively large or small eggs. Large eggs hatch poorly, while and small eggs produce small chicks. Eggs for incubation should be of medium size. Number three is that you should avoid eggs with cracked or thin shells. The cracked eggs have difficulties in retaining moisture needed for proper chick development. Also, these cracked these cracks on the eggshell create a way for the entry of disease causing microorganisms. Number four is that you should not incubate eggs that are excessively misshapen. And this means that eggs with abnormalities should not be incubated. Uh, ab abnormalities can be for example, a weird shape or double yolk, yolked egg, eggs and many other uh, deformities. Number five, another thing to consider is that only clean eggs should be incubated. Do not incubate dirty eggs. Also, don't clean these dirty eggs with water or wet cloth. Simply avoid these dirty eggs. If you clean them, they then you will remove the egg's protective coating and this will lead to exposing the egg to entry of disease. Also, that move, that the rubbing action uh, during washing uh, or cleaning uh, the egg with it, uh, the, that uh, wet cloth, that action forces disease organisms through the egg pores of the shell. Therefore, this predisposes the embryo that is in the, inside the egg to diseases. As I had promised you, let us now talk about proper storage of eggs that will be used for incubation. Number one, eggs to be used for incubation should be collected at least three times daily and during the hot weather period that is uh, up at 29 degrees celsius and above collect even five times daily this prevents eggs from exposure to much heat which lowers the quality and hatchability frequent egg collection also prevents the chicken from making them dirty number two you should know that hatching eggs should not be those that have been stored for more than 10 days 
days. This is because after 10 days, her stability decreases at a rate of 1.5 per day. And after 3 weeks, her stability drops to zero. Number 3, you should know that slightly soiled eggs may be used for hatching with no problems. But dirty eggs should not even be considered. Number 4 is that the eggs to be used for incubation should be stored in a, a cool humid well aerated storage area ideal storage conditions uh, for eggs to be used for incubation are 13 degrees celsius that is for the temperatures and 75 percent relative humidity eggs should be stored in trees with the wide part facing upwards because the airspace of the egg is on that side and this will help the egg to have good aeration and the thinner side should be the one that is pointing down and should be the one that is in con contact with the egg tray number five finally is that you should allow cool eggs to warm slowly to room temperature before placing them into the incubator or before you place them under the broody hen. This is because if you incubate them directly from the cool storage to the incubator or to the broody hen, that causes moisture to condense on the eggshell and that leads to disease and reduced hatchability. You should also know that for high quality eggs, you need well fed layers. Therefore, click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how you can use eggshells as the perfect source of calcium for your chickens.